I think it's one of the most magical and special things on earth. Hello, um, my name is Reeps. I am one of the sort of leading beatboxers on the planet. And you can think, okay, so why, why is beatboxing important? It's actually how we push the human voice as far as we possibly can. <laughs> There's so much music stored in your voice and you can use that to, to share who you are and your personality without saying a single word. What we're gonna do here today is we're gonna connect voice we're going to connect performance and art with our understanding of grief. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Boots and cats and boots and cats. So you guys are part of a choir, is that right? Yes. I joined choir because like, I was really, I was very young, we were all very young when we lost our dad, so uh, we were really confused and really upset. And I feel like choir really helped us express our emotions and just meeting people that have been through what we have. When it comes to expression and performance, could you help people understand how performance feels when it comes to expressing grief? Music just like for me it just expresses like what words can't say and it also helps like pick find things and like make go like let you go into like your own little world and stuff. When I first joined I was really confused about why we were doing music and I was like I don't know if this will help me or not. But then when I discovered what you know, we weren't just doing music, it was you know, it was like a feeling deep down it just you know, it just feels different. It doesn't just feel like music. It feels like you're accomplishing, like, it's like being an astronaut, it takes a lot of training, you know? It feels like that, it feels like you're accomplishing something big like that every step you take. Was there any emotion or feeling that you think you could release in a way that you couldn't, in maybe from talking or speaking to people? You know, like, I think in a way singing kind of made me release every, all the tension inside, because sometimes, you know, talking to someone would be a bit more uncomfortable. So like kind of sometimes when you can let it out and then you kind of like for yourself and you know everything is fine and people around you there to support you and then you're singing for that person who is not there anymore. It's kind of the way you connect with them. Yeah, it's um, any way to kind of share and get things out because that's something that I struggle with sometimes. Sometimes I find it hard to share my feelings and my emotions. Um, I feel like sometimes people expect me to like know what to say all the time and actually it can be so much simpler with, with music. I don't know if you guys agree with that. Sometimes if you're just a part of something, you're able to to get something off your chest and and yeah, it can it can feel it can feel very uh, sort of hard for people to understand when you're going through something difficult. And I don't know, do you feel have any of you guys ever felt that it's hard for people to understand your grief journey? Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. How could you make someone understand this idea of of a grief journey, like explaining how it feels to to accept death and bereavement, um, and the fact that that is a never ending journey? Obviously, you can't erase everything that happened to be like that's not possible right now. It must be later. Um, but um, there's like it's always just gonna be there, like anything little little things remind you of it every day and even if you're feeling much much better and than you were before, um you're always still gonna you know it's still gonna be there like always and it's gonna be hard to think i'm gonna live my life knowing this but then it's something to be proud that you're going through yeah like with my experience i've kind of like there have been people who ask and i don't necessarily ignore it or tell people like to go away i just tell them and i want them to understand because there's many people across the world 
people feel that way, that people don't understand how they feel, and I want people to feel it's fine to speak to people about it, speak to people you trust, and kind of talk to people about it, because there'll be that stage in life you lose someone you love, and speaking to people can make it that bit easier. When I speak to people, yeah, I just say, I lost someone that I love, I lost my dad, and I tell them, and I'll let them understand, because I think it's important that you have that awareness, and ignoring it can kind of make it seem like a weakness, and I don't believe that losing grief, um, losing someone and going through grief is a weakness. I believe that with that you can speak to people, you can feel stronger. I, I agree, it's not a weakness, it's kind of like a character build. Because that's what my mum always says to me. Don't don't think of it as like a, a weakness, think of it as like an advantage. So you will be stronger next time you are faced with trauma. I think advice is such a key thing. We can, we can give advice to each other and Sometimes we think what we're going through is just us and we think it's something that only we experience. But actually those feelings, those ideas, when you share them with another person, sometimes we have no idea how life changing that can be. What would you think is the best piece of advice you've got about grief and bereavement that you would like to share with the world? Don't expect to just have like one big jump that will get you just past grief because you need to know that it's going to be there for your whole life and you won't really get over it. You're obviously going to want to forget it, but it's not going to happen. Like, you're not going to be able to forget. So, don't focus on anything bad and just focus on the good things. It's always going to be part of your life somehow. You're just going to learn to cope with it. Go out there and experience stuff because if you keep on dragging on it your whole life, then you're going to, like, just not feel happy and that's not what you want in life and if you are ever in a time of need try and find someone that you can go to and talk with them if you can't like there's lots of grief encounter they have like a helpline where yeah. you can call or any other sites where you can call them and you can just talk to someone it's just sometimes just good to talk about to someone like even if it's not about your loss it's really important to be open about how you feel because it really can make you feel better not keeping everything inside just a person that we, who you know has grief go out help them and kind of understand they may have their moments because everyone's human and with grief like you can feel more sad and try and make them happy and treat them the same as everyone because grief isn't a weakness you're gonna have to be sad at certain points just so that you know you don't get angry and you don't take it out on anyone else i think that it's okay to feel sad because um it means that you are thinking about the person that's died and it's really really nice to think about them you make me think of another question which is about memory like how would you give advice about remembering passed on loved ones um, well all around my house we have always had some, like a couple of pictures of him and just to make sure and you know you, know, you always got to remember the good times um, that you have with them because then that lasts longer than some of the bad times you have. Um, and it, and you just always just got to think back to just seeing them and just having fun and um, make sure it leaves a nice, nice imprint on you. Sometimes I find it hard to look back at pictures and videos, but I think it's good just to remember the good times. Yeah, I definitely kind of find it hard to look back at videos or even look at pictures at this point. I didn't want to look at a picture of my dad that passed away because I know he wasn't here anymore. But I kind of went over that and I thought I want to remember my dad in a good way and that you know that anyone who passed away that 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 who loves you who with you they want you to live a good life and they want you to be happy and to carry on living life happy and you think of that time so make it like make a memory box yeah um we have memory boxes and they're like filled with old stuff that we used to like use with our dad like i have this pair of broken glasses and like we'd always play with them but like i don't like visiting his grave or anything though because like that just Well, I feel it's it's okay to find things difficult, right? Like there's there's wins, and then there's things that are that kind of maybe hold things in place. But it's a, it's a it's a journey that's allowed to to occasionally have a, a step backwards, but moving forwards, like moving upwards. I think th these are the key ideas, and 
to hear about music, to hear about memory boxes, conversations, like people being respectful, understanding that it's okay to talk about these things. Um, it's okay to be proud of moving forward. You should all be so proud and there is such an exciting journey ahead. And I hope we can meet up in person and make some art and music at some point. Is that is that something you might be interested in? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that makes me so happy. Um, so I am so grateful and I look forward to the future and I look forward to the, the art and music that we can make. So um, thank you so much.